today we will discuss what is latitude longitude will be discussed in the next video so even though we have discussed about latitude in my former classes earlier classes it was not much explained so this video will have more explanation about latitude so from this class we can understand what is latitude and how it is drawn what is the basis of the drawing and what is the purpose of the latitude we can see on the globe and on the map lines are drawn north to south north to south and east to west if we are taking a globe in our hand or there is a map on the blackboard or on the wall this area or we can easily say the upper area we is called north and this one is the south right side of the listeners who are watching this video the right of them is east and the other side is west the places from west will move to east that is the reason why sun rises in the east and sun sets in the west the reason is earth is moving from west to east that is why sun moves its opposite direction if we are to venus if we are going to the venus we can see the sun rises there in the west and sun sets in the east because venus is rotating from east to west the opposite direction of the earth's rotation next we will discuss what is an axis we have studied earth is rotating on its own axis what is axis axis is the place where a line is drawn from north to south how north is calculated we can see a north star north star in the sky it is directly above the north pole that is the way how the north pole is calculated a very little difference is there even though we can generally say it is the if we are extending a line from north pole to the north star it will be a straight line that is the way how the north pole is calculated just opposite of opposite of that north pole is considered as south pole if you are taking equal distance from south pole and the north pole it will come through the center of the earth middle of the earth that is equator how the equator is calculated equator is drawn we have to take equal distance from north pole and south pole the line passing through the middle of this north pole and south pole is equator equator can be called as a line or a circle if you are taking the uh, globe as a whole it will be a circle equator line or equator circle that is the biggest biggest circle equator is the biggest circle biggest latitude that we can draw on the globe because it is passing through the center of the earth core of the earth if you are taking a globe and it is rotating the rotational speed of the earth is different from place to place 
हाइएस्ट स्पीड ऑफ द अर्थ रोटेशन स्पीड मीन्स द प्लेस आर मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर दैट वी मीन द स्पीड हाइएस्ट स्पीड ऑफ द मूवमेंट ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंट्स और प्लेस इन द इक्वेटर इज 1680 kilometers per hour if you are moving to the north or south speed is reduced again and again at last if you are on the north pole or south pole speed will be zero in the equator we have 1640 kilometers per hour in the north or 60 degree north and 60 degree south the speed will be 840 kilometers per hour if you are to the north pole speed will be zero that we will explain with the help of a teaching aid we have an umbrella this half circle this can be considered as a northern hemisphere and another umbrella the other side can be considered as southern hemisphere now the earth is rotating from west to east like this so the places are moving from west to east suppose this is the equator the speed of the equator or places moved from one place to to the east is 1680 kilometers per hour highest speed is on the equator if we go to the north about 60 degree north and 60 degree south the speed will be 840 kilometers per hour if you are again to the north we can see when the rotation is taking place in the north pole you can see it is simply there and rotating places are not moved it is simply rotating places are not moved from one place to another so it means there is no movement for the earth in the south pole also only rotation is taking place there is no movement for the earth in the south pole these two places where there is no movement of the earth in the north pole and the south pole a line drawn through the interior of the earth through the inside of the earth that is called axis so axis means when the earth is rotating there will be a place there where there is no movement in the north pole a place where there is no movement in the north and likewise in the south that places the places where is no there is no movement in the north and in the south they are joined through inside of the earth interior of the earth that is called axis that is imaginary there is no such line on the surface of the earth or inside of the earth we will imagine there is an axis that is called axis of the earth so what is latitude latitude means lines drawn in the east to west direction you can see lines are drawn or circles are drawn on the surface of the earth at the same time on the map also on the map also these lines are there these lines which is drawn east to west is called latitude and the other side joining north pole and south pole they are called longitude these latitudes are parallel lines parallel lines means 
these two lines will have equal distance from beginning to the end. That is called a parallel. Parallel lines are straight lines which is equal distance from the beginning to the end. So these lines are latitudes are parallel lines. But in the case of longitude, they are joining together in the North Pole and South Pole that we will discuss later. What is the purpose of this latitude and longitude? What is the criteria? What is the basis of the latitude? How the angles are calculated? From where angles begins? Here you can see I have taken one hard board round in shape. Another one is also there. Here I have made a cutting up to the half portion. Here also it has done the same. So I will join I will join these two hard boards together and you can see this is the this is the equator. This may be the North Pole and this one South Pole. So, angle is calculated. Angles means inclination. Angle is calculated from the center of the earth. From interior or core of the earth. I am taking another hard board. You can see angle is calculated 0, 10, 20, 30 up to 90. So latitude angle or longitude angle is calculated from the center of the earth, from the core of the earth. Here you can see this is 0 degree. 0 degree is moving throughout, throughout entire circle. So that is 0 degree angle or equator. From to the north, from to the north you can see 10 degree, 20 degree, 30, 40, 50, 60, up to 90. This from 0 to 10 we can calculate or we can write or draw 1 degree, 2 degree, 2 degree, 3 like that. But it is not done here. Angle comes from, angle begins from the center of the earth. The other side also, we can have 90 degree. The other side also, we have 90 degree. Here also, 90 degree. It means, degree is the inclination. It begins from the center of the earth and the lines are drawn on the surface of the earth. Here also you can see 0 degree is at the bottom that is equator. From the equator 10 degree, 20, 30, 40, 90. The other side also we have 90 degree. The other side also we will have 180 degree on this side and 180 degree on the other side. Around one point we will have 360 degree. Degree means inclination. For example, this is the equator. Angle is from the center. This one is 0 degree. 1, 2, like that. This is 90 degree. If we want to draw one line for 1 degree, we will have 178 lines. 178 lines. Throughout. 
178 lines means in the North Pole there is no a line or a circle, only a point. In the South Pole also there is only one point. Line cannot be drawn. From the equator to the North Pole or to the South Pole we will have 179 lines 179 lines including equator north pole and south pole is not only a point so anybody want to draw a line for one degree we will have 178 lines plus equator if we are calculating equator also we will have 179 lines. One degree, one degree is divided into one degree, degree means inclination. One degree is divided into 60 minute. Minute means that is not the time minute. That is not shown on the watch. One by 60 of a degree that is minute it is written one minute one invert one inverted comma so one degree can be again divided into 60 part 60 divisions that is called minute one minute can be again divided into 60 seconds Second means one part of the 1 by 60 of a minute. In short, one degree can be divided into 60 minute. One minute can be again divided into 60 seconds. For the sharp or clear, accurate location of a country, we have to use degree, minute, and second, the purpose of the latitude and longitude is locating places. For locating places, for example, India. You can see India is located here. If it is on a flat surface, if it is on a flat surface, a person is here. We can locate his place by saying we can locate his place by saying from this corner certain meters, from this edge certain meters, from this corner certain sec uh, meters. So in a, if you are on a flat surface, we can locate his place by saying such meters from the corner from the edge, from the other side. So edges and corners are there on a flat surface. But on a globe, there is no edges and corners. So locating a place on the surface of the earth is very difficult. It is easy on a flat surface. It is difficult on a flat surface because there is no edges and corners. So how we can locate India? It is very difficult to solve this problem. We have drawn latitudes and longitude on the surface of the earth or on the map also. Here we have drawn these lines. Equator is there. North 1 degree, 2 degree, south, north. Likewise, south also. For example, India. It is in the northern hemisphere, India is in the northern hemisphere. It begins from 8 degree north to 37 degree north. 8 degree north to 38 degree north. That is the latitudinal extension, latitudinal extension of India. Likewise, all the countries we can, for Africa we can 
it is beginning from the southern part of the southern portion of Africa is in the southern hemisphere and it ends in the northern hemisphere. So Africa is extending in the north and south hemisphere. India is only, because India is a small country that is located in the northern hemisphere alone. So India's location is 8 degree north and 37 degree north. If we are saying it very accurately, India is 8 degree 4 minute. Indian subcontinent tip of southern tip of India begins 8 degree 4 minute and it ends 37 degree 6 minute. If we want to say again accurately, second also, 100% accurate, 8 degree, 4 minute, 28 second. So, the southern tip of India is very, very 100% accurate when we say the seconds also. So, the north portion is 37 degree, 6 minute, 53 seconds. That is the exact location of India. If you are saying only degree, 100% accuration will not take place. If you are adding minute also, it can again will have a lesser inaccuracy. If we are saying it's seconds also, 100% accuracy is there. So, the north-south extension, north-south extension of India is 8 degree, 4 minute, 28 second. And in the north, 37 degree, 6 minute, 53 second. That is the exact location, latitudinal extension, latitudinal extension of India. We have understood what is the purpose of latitude. The other side, a country will have north-south extension and east-west extension also. East-west extension we will discuss in the longitude. North-South extension is only explained, boundary is only explained in the discussion of latitude. Every country will have such latitudinal extension and longitudinal extension. Next, we have to discuss how much lines are there, how much latitudinal, how many latitudinal lines are there. That depends upon the person who want to draw latitudes on the surface of the earth. Here we have equator and 10 degree extended lines are there. In some map, 15 degree interval is there. If a person want, want to draw, each degree must have one line, he will have 179 lines. If another person want to draw lines for each minute, every minute there must be a line if he want to, if he want to draw that line there will be 10,680 lines will be there. If another person who want to study the things 100% accurately and he want to draw lines for every second, every second, one degree will have 60 fractions, that is minute. One minute will have 60 fractions of second. A person wants to draw lines, latitudes for every second. There will be 6,40,800 lines. According to the need of a person, 
we can draw latitudes so if a person is asking how many latitudes are there that can be answered differently if a person wants to draw one line for one degree the number will be different for every second number is also different another thing is that important lines are only drawn on the surface of the earth on the globe or on the map every line is not given name here equator is there 23 and half degree north that is called tropic of cancer 23 and half degree south it is tropic of capricorn we will explain what is the importance of this 23 and half degree if we go to the north or south 66 and half in the north and 66 and half in the south that is called in the north it is called arctic line or arctic circle in the south it is antarctic line or antarctic circle 90 degree north is north pole and this one is south pole what is the importance of 23 degree and half here you can see if the earth is having no inclination the axis will be a straight line joining north pole and south pole from here earth has actually an inclination of 23 and half degree if you are straight the axis will be like this a straight line from there we have an angle that is 23 and half degree from the vertical it is 23 and half degree if we are calculating the degree from the plane for example earth is rotating around the sun through a plane if you are calculating the angle from the plane the inclination is 66 and half if it is calculated from the north pole from the north or vertical we have 23 and half degree inclination if you are calculating the angle from the base or plane rotational revolutional plane it is 66 and half degree so in some books the inclination of the earth is written as 23 and half degree in some another books inclination is 66 and half degree inclination if you are calculating from the north pole it will be 23 and half if you are from the base inclination is 66 and half degree that is the difference i think to some extent latitude has been explained if there is any doubt for if further explanation is needed you can comment on my video longitude will be explained later in my next video